Greetings to all of my members and visitors of my global home church. Um, remember, church is not some whitewashed building. It's a place where two or three are gathered together in Jesus' name, and there the Holy Spirit will be also. We have a lot of people gathered here every weekend in Jesus' name. Uh, the Holy Spirit gives me all of my topics. He leads me to all the material that I get. And praise the Lord. I'm glad you're here with me. <clears throat> Just real quick, I had... Somebody get mad at me today that because I'm having fun now on my regular videos. I'm, my sermons are serious, but my regular videos, you've been doing videos for years and years, and it's just hardcore stuff, and it breaks your heart, and it's just terrible news. Sometimes you have to lighten up, or you'll just faint and not be able to do it. So I'm going to have fun on my videos when I feel like it, and those who don't like me having fun, those who want me just to never have any fun, you're at the wrong place. You can go find somewhere else, I guess, to watch. But uh, glad everybody is here that's here. And I've got um, something to share with you today, as always, in the sermon. So let's get started here, shall we? <clears throat> First of all, I found a couple of very intelligent number crunchers, <clears throat> mathematicians, that have uncovered some really big things on Barack Hussein Obama. And I'm going to share the first of them with you here. I'm, gonna, I'm vetting them right now to verify, but I found hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of things from these guys that I'm vetting. So I may have over 666 things that show He's a future Antichrist now instead of only 142 that I have before. But today I'm going to talk about the number of the beast, the beast from the sea, in both Greek, Hebrew, and English. They're all 100% Barack Obama and no one else. First of all, let me give you a definition. Definition is gematria. The gematria is an Assyro Babylonian Greek system of code and numerology later adopted into Jewish culture that assigns numerical value to a word or phrase in the belief that words or phrases with identical numerical values bear some relation to each other or bear some relation to the number itself. This gentleman, who all the information I'm giving you today, his name is Kevin Heckel, H-E-C-K-L-E, to give him credit. And this guy is very, very, very talented mathematician. I mean, he knows math. And, and those who understand know that God is the king of all math. Look at the, at the heavens. Look at the universe. Look at the way our bodies work. There's math everywhere that you see. Simple math and advanced math. And these guys use what they call simple math, but it's pretty advanced to me. So I'm going to go ahead and read down some stuff for you. And I'm going to try to put some of this in the box below the video title if I can, as much as it'll fit. YouTube's pretty stingy on giving you space normally. <clears throat> so here we go. This is what Kevin says. In the passage of Revelation 13, 18, it says to count the number of the beast. For it, the beast number, is the number of a man, which I've told you many times before as well. Kevin says, I have noted before, the count of the singular word beast in Revelation occurs 44 times in the King James Version Bible, and Obama's the 44th president. Hmm. Beast. However, the focus of this paper is to count the values given in Revelation of the two specific beasts, which are the dragon and the beast from the sea. So in Revelation 12, 3, And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads. Revelation 13, 1, And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and, I, and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. Okay. You'll notice the similarity between the two verses of Scripture. However, the reason to compare the two together is, number one, the dragon gives power to the beast. Number Okay. I've noticed before, Kevin says, that the minimum number of heads, horns, and crowns upon each is 24 on the dragon and 27 on the sea beast which combined for a total of 51. Due to the ambiguous word wording, seven crowns upon its heads and upon his horns, ten crowns, you could deduce that the dragon had seven crowns on each of its seven heads, totaling 49 crowns, and the sea beast had ten crowns on each of its ten heads, totaling 100 crowns. The maximum total heads, horns, and crowns would therefore be 66 for the dragon and 117 for the sea beast. Now, Kevin says, I postulated before that this 666 code is based on gematria and triangular numbers. 666 having both the Greek standard gematria value of 666 <coughs> and is the highest rep digit triangular number. Counting by triangular numbers was common among the mathematicians of John the Revelator's time and place. The ninth triangular number is 45, which is the Hebrew gematria value of man. And the 10th triangular number is 55, 
which is a Hebrew gematria value of Satan, which is a dragon. Consequently, the dragon has the number of man, and the sea beast, the Antichrist, has the number of Satan. The sequence of 24 and 27 as primitive values of triangular numbers does not end there. Their sum 51 is the primitive value of the 18th triangular number 171. You could say so, so what? However, 171 is a key counting 666 as a triangular number. 171 is also the value of Barry Sorotoro, aka Barack Obama. That's his name when he was living in Indonesia. Okay, you with me? He goes on to further say, triangular numbers higher than the ones have higher than one have two specific values which make up the whole number. They are the satellite values and the core value. These can only be specific values for each triangular number. For instance, for 666, the satellite value is 171, occurring in triplet, and the core value is 153, occurring once. And 171 plus 171 plus 171 plus the 153 equals 666. Mysteriously, John pinned the same number 153 in John 21 11 when Jesus appeared after his resurrection to Peter and some of the other disciples. He told them to draw their net from the opposite side of the boat and they drew exactly 153 fish out of the sea. Was Jesus giving us another clue? It happens that if you subtract the triangular base of 666, which is 36, from the core value of 666, you get 117 again. And 117 plus 36 is 153. Of course, 117 and 36 are the standard and ordinal English gematria values of the name Barak. Okay, you with me? There are a total of 14 heads, 20 horns, and 17 crowns. None of these values are perimeter values of any triangular number like the sequence was to the right. However, the first column, 14 heads, is the base of the triangular number 105, which just happens to be the perimeter value of 666. The beast heads crown, horns, and crowns. And again, I'm going to share this below so you can go through it yourself as well. Carrying the same logic across, the 14th triangular number is 105, the 20th is 210, and the 17th is 153. There's that number again. If you add the total of these, they equal 468, which is 4 times 117, and 117 equals Barak. Each one of those triangular numbers also have primitive values, which are 39, 57, and 48, they total 144, which is 4 times 36, and 36 equals Barak. Okay? Now, if you add the total of the triangular base, tri number and tri perimeter values, you get a total of 663, which is 3 times 221. Beast, heads, horns, and crowns. 221, by the way, is a standard English gematria value of Barack Obama. 221 is a composite English and Greek ordinal value of beast slash Barak. Now considering the same table of heads and horns with respective crowns, the total heads with its crowns are 21, and the total horns with its crowns are 30, which sum to a total of 51 heads, horns, and crowns. Assuming we're correct about our theory, and these three values are triangular numbers, what gematria values equal the total count of the beast? 21 T is 231, which is his name. Then you've got 30 T equals 465, which equals the devil. Then you've got 51 T equals 1326, which is President Barack Hussein Obama, in English exactly. 1326 is also the value of Lucifer dash Barry Sortero, okay? 1326 is the composite English Greek ordinal 66 value of Barack dash Beast. And 1326 is 6 times 221 English standard of Barack Obama. Are you getting this? This guy is a mathematical genius. Just as extra proof, I also wanted to see if the gematria values of either the sea beast or dragon would match any of Barack Hussein Obama's values. So you've got 7, 7 heads, 10 horns, 10 and crowns. You got numbers that are, that are attached to those. Those numbers on those six items equal 1404. 1404 is 12 times 117, which again is the English standard of Barak. 1404 is a Greek standard value of the 12th. 1404 is a Greek ordinal 66 value of Barack Hussein Obama. <laughs> there it is again. 
1404 is Strong's, Strong Concordance Greek number for dragon. 1404 is a sum of 666 plus 738, which may seem in insignificant, but when you add them up together, 738 plus 6 plus 66 equals 666, and 738 is also the composite English Greek ordinal value of the beast. With 1404 as a total Greek ordinal 66 value of Barack Hussein Obama, and total of his first 372 and last 366 name is 738 or 6 plus 66 plus 666, which leaves the value of his middle name, Hussein, at 666. Who else could the Antichrist be? You're seeing all this? The Beast, Brahma, Obama, Barack Hussein, Obama, Barack, the Antichrist, Satan? Now he's got some more here, too. I'm going to drink. I'm getting parched. Okay. That was... Now we're adding up the dragon. Seven heads, ten horns, seven crowns. Add those numbers up, you get 1760 for your number. Relating to Bible prophecy, this number is 1760. It's similar to 1260, which is the number of prophetic days, 42 months, that the Antichrist will have the power of the dragon, Satan. 1760 minus 1260 leaves 500 left over, which is the Hebrew standard value of Barack Hussein Obama. Are you getting this? Just as Strong's Greek number for dragon is 1404, Strong's Greek number for Antichrist is 500. Incidentally, Barack H. Obama signs his last name with a vertical line through the O, which is a Greek letter pi, which has a value of 500. In Psalm 44, 500 is a Hebrew standard gematria value of the dragon. Okay, you getting all this? In the final words of the verse, 13.1, describing the sea beast, it says, and upon his head, the name of blasphemy. To blaspheme has a number, and of blasphemy has a number. So we can conclude that at least two heads had blaspheme having a value of 1586 divided by two is 793, which is a standard English gematria of Barack Hussein Obama. This is unbelievable. Finally, I wondered why the standard Greek value of Barack Hussein Obama, 1809, hadn't been revealed in this scripture, as most other aspects of his name in English, Greek, Greek and Hebrew. I did find this. Just as a composite English value of Barack H. Obama's name is a triple of 666, which is 1998, the standard Greek value of his name is a triple of 603, which is 1809. 603 is a standard gematria value of Satan. Satan, again, is 603. And I ask, and, and Kevin says, I ask you now, who else could be the Antichrist? That's a very good question, Kevin H., Kevin Hinkle. You're a very intelligent man, my friend. And all I can do is just show you stuff, my friends, and show you the truth. You have to decide for yourself whether you have enough common sense to be able to listen and absorb and understand. Remember, Revelation 13.8, he who has wisdom and has understanding will be able to know the, nu the number of the beast. It's, an, it's a name, and it's number of that man. His name is 666. And all these other numbers in, in the standard gematria and in the English and Hebrew and in uh, Greek, add up to numbers, which are 666 and the equivalent of 666. And you've got Satan, you've got the Beast, you've got the Antichrist, you've got Barack, you've got Barack Hussein Obama, Hussein Obama. Unbelievable, my friends. Unbelievable. Here's the bottom line. Sadly, most are going to be stuck with this guy after the imminent rapture because most Christians will be left behind along with the unsaved because they won't repent of their sins where the Bible says at least 250 scriptures that I've found you have to. I've got a prayer. If you want a copy of that, message me. I've got a prayer in the box below the video title in Six Vital Next Steps. Pray that prayer. Do those steps as soon as possible. We're going to pray the prayer here together in a moment as well. But pray it. Don't waste any time. If you can't pray right this second, pray as soon as the video is over. Don't waste any time because no one's guaranteed that even the next day, hour, minute, or second in your life. So if you're unsaved or backslidden, let's pray now before your time runs out. Jesus, I know I've sinned. I've done bad things in my life, and I'm sorry. I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again on the third day. went back to heaven to be at the right-hand side of the Father to make a place for all your children forever. Please forgive me of my sins. Wash my heart white as snow. Come live in my heart. Make me a new creature in Christ, a child of the King. Your precious name I ask it. Amen. When you pray that prayer, Jesus says that all who come to me and ask shall be saved. If you'd like me to pray for you for anything, contact me and I will. I also have a copy in the box below the video title of my Tribulation Survival Guide video. It tells you how to get saved, what to expect, A to Z, in the coming tribulation. It'll be worth more than diamonds or gold soon after I'm gone. If you'd like a copy, message me. Christians, witness and pray for the lost night and day. If you aren't doing it, shame on you. Start doing it now. If you are, that's cool. 
look up our Dipped from Darth Nye. We fly soon. I'll see you tomorrow, Lord willing, with some more word from the Lord. And you guys take care of yourselves. Get this word out and share it. This is I've been showing you every day now who Obama is. It's time for people to start waking up. And praise the Lord, a few are waking up and telling me they are finally too. Thanks. Bye.